Hi, this is Cody from Go Hunt, your new optics authority. All right, one of the most uh, common questions we get as of late seems to be the difference between a ball head and a pan head. This is a, a much debated topic. There's pros and cons for both. So I'm gonna try to break that down and give you a little bit of my insight and tell you what I think. Ball heads um, used to be kind of a crude way of putting things together, but they were also the light way to put things together. So when you actually start weighing these out, pretty significant weight savings on the, on the ball heads. The only problem with that is, is that you typically have a control issue with the ball heads. Um, they've gotten better as of late in recent years because they, they give you this micro adjust over here that allows you to control the panning. And then, you know, when you loosen up the, this knob right here, you're gonna get, you know, to where this is loose. And you can tell the looser I go, it kind of gets almost floppy on you. So when you get the weight of an optic on there, uh, especially your big spotting scopes, there is a certain point that when you turn this and if you turn it too far, the optic is now gonna control the head versus the head controlling the optic, which, you know, if you're into optics and you really want things to be still and quiet and easy, remember that that basically saves your eyes over the length of a hunting trip to make them, you know, not focus as much. That's a real concern with the ball heads, especially when you move on to heavier optics. So in general, they do a real good job. Um, most today you can get them, you know, with the uh, Arca Swiss plates and quick release plates. So they're real easy to take on and off with your optics. But uh, for the, the ball heads, the biggest thing is weight savings and uh, maybe a smaller um, pack presence, you know, when you're, when you're going on a long backpacking trip. Moving over to the pan heads. The pan heads are generally speaking what I try to carry in the field. I almost always will uh, take a little bit more weight for the steadiness of the optic and that's really what you're getting when you when you use a pan head. You can use much heavier optics and have much more stability especially you know over glassing a long day you're not trying to fine tune adjust. You can typically uh, feather these in and you know set your your uh, pan in your tilt and be able to move this around with great ease. And if you have it feathered in right, it'll actually balance out the optic really well. It basically comes down to a weight or stability issue and really the choice is up to you. If you have any questions on this video, please leave comments or suggestions or information. We, we'd love to hear from you. Other than that, uh, with any other questions that you want to ask me personally, please reach me at optics at gohunt.com. Thank you.